Greetings and welcome to Smartwatch Ticks. We're a YouTube channel on the web at smartwatchticks.com. Sometimes we forget the main reason we buy these smartwatches. Oh, I thought it was going to be attached. That's cute. <laughs> no, it's not to tell time. Are you silly? Just because it's called a smartwatch, it's really a smartphone, right? The main reason is so we can make and receive phone calls. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a look at the Bakey G20 Bluetooth Calling HD Full Touch Wristband Heart Rate Blood Pressure Monitor IP67 Waterproof Watch. <sighs> and it's available right now. In the show notes should be a link that you can come over and pick this thing up and I'll hopefully have a coupon discount for you as well. I went through the specs too quickly. Well, let's go through them again. Here you go. It's a G20. Using Bluetooth version 4, it says, and it'll do Bluetooth calling. Android 5 uh, or iOS 8, touch screen. It's using a Funware app. We haven't seen that one before. These are all the supported languages on it, uh, on the app now, but the band itself is just a subset of those. IP67 waterproof, splash proof then. I wouldn't say swim with it. Um, they use this loosely. Uh, Bluetooth call support, blood oxygen, no. Uh, but blood pressure and heart rate are in it, and all the other good stuff here. You also have a music control, brightness control, and in the box, also, ah, ah, you know what? <laughs> I've already been over there charging this thing. <laughs> I forgot to put it back in the box. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love these live reviews. Uh, we have a manual to go with it. Smartwatch, here you go. Um, there's some color pictures, show you a little bit more about it. Uh, small print for me to read from where I'm at right now, but you should be able to freeze frame this on your device and take a closer look if you'd like to. There's a QR code. You could scan that or use the uh, link in the show notes. And I suggest you you probably do one of those two because this is not easy to find uh in the basically in the uh google play store from what i could tell basic parameters and information and then this side is all chinese and here's that little charging cable which is a four pin instead of a two pin like we usually find on these kind of watches four pin are often reserved for the android watches because they uh, have data connection too, and storage inside of them. But this one uses a four pin. Okay, now let's turn it on. Well, here it is. It's on now and all wired up with the band. The app is running. And this is the first one I've ever seen that when you say find your bracelet, it doesn't like chirp twice and then stop. It's continuous. Yay! Yay! So if you've ever lost <laughs> your device and you're insane trying to find it with the phone and listening for just like a beep beep and that was it, not with this one. It keeps ringing and ringing and ringing until you take care of it. I just wanted to show you that before we even begin. Nice feature of the G20 tethered to the app, which we'll get to in a moment after we show you what this watch can do. All right. And you got to hear a little bit about the sound there, too, because it's uh, pretty loud, pretty loud. So once again, the bezel on this one is um, pretty subdued. There's some little writing around the edge. There's a nice bright watch face on it. You can slide down and any notifications pushed from your phone that you've set up will be here. And he says, all right, come on back to me. Sliding down is just notifications and that's it. Sliding up gets you into calling. So here's where you can put in the numbers in the number pad, make phone calls. Of course, you can get to that other ways too. If I slide to the left, I get into the beginning of all of my uh, apps in the app drawer. And if I slide this way, I get to exactly the same place. Looks a little bright, doesn't it? I think we need to tone it down some. There, is that better? I uh, went into settings and did that, and we'll show you that. And why not right now? Okay, here's settings. You have all kinds of different things. Bluetooth settings is for tethering to your phone for phone calls. There's two different tethering things you got to do. Use that for that. And uh, app tethering will just happen from the app to the watch for 
you know, transferring data over or find your phone or find your watch, all of that stuff. You've got the overall clock here. You have a variety of types which you can go through and time sync is on. So when it's connected to your phone, it'll automatically sync, but you can set date and time and everything if you want to time format 12 or 20 foot to 12 or 24 hours, your overall sounds and volume levels display down to brightness level one and screen timeout from five seconds to 60 seconds. Your units can be changed in here from metric to imperial, which is what we use in the US. And international is where you can do uh, syncing or you can uh, change your language, which I think you have to have that turned off in order to show the other languages which sometimes you guys really like to see. So let's run through them quickly. Yeah, yeah, not a whole lot. And interestingly, none of the uh, Asian language is uh, extensively, which is usually in these. But if you have that on, it should match the language in your phone once you tether them. Okay, let's get out of here. That was pretty much the setting. So I'm going to go through and uh, here's your raise your wrist to see the time. We definitely like to turn that on. Uh, this is blood pressure. So when you have this on and you're wearing the watch, it's going to take a blood pressure reading for you. And the sports mode, these are all the different sporting activities you can do. There's no GPS in this one. But if you want to do a run, for example, and you say go, it'll give you a countdown. Then it's going to start. And you're basically getting time, steps, calories burned, and heart rate. Again, the diode flashing to catch the heart rate information. Uh, when you're done, you just hit X and you're out of it. So limited sporting activities, um, hiking, riding, well, maybe football, basketball, badminton. Most all of these are just going to give you time versus calories or uh, walking and running should give you the step count uh, information as well. So we've got that. And then we've got history. Um, here's the little run that we did. And it tells you basically the facts related to your activities that you've done from history. Now, can I loop around again? Yeah, I can. So we're actually back to the beginning right now, which has your phone book, dialer, and call logs. And if you want to make a call, you can come in here um, or go, of course, to your, uh, your contacts or whatnot. Put in the phone number hit the dial button and it will Bluetooth to your phone, which I don't have a SIM in in the one that I'm demoing right now, and it would place the outgoing phone call. Likewise, if a call comes in, it would show up on the screen. You can answer it or reject it. If you answer it, you'll receive it here. You speak to the watch. You hear it from the watch right underneath right here. That speaker is right here. So what I'll do is sometimes cross my arm older, over and hold my other shoulder if I'm having difficulty, if it's noisy, to be able to hear a call. Uh, and you can get that kind of close to your ear for that. So you have that support of Bluetooth calling directly in here. And that's something to look for if your app drawer has a phone book, a dialer, and call logs and notifications for text messages, then there's a good chance that that watch is going to support either SIM calling, Bluetooth calling, or both. Those are those four. Then you find your device. You want to hear it again? Well, this is calling it the other way. Oh, I have the phone in mute right now, so sorry. But it's uh, over there receiving the to let me know where the phone is. Actually, it started vibrating as well. You can set an alarm clock. Uh, your calendar is a basic calendar. You have the month shown or, you know, the current day, but you can't really set a lot of stuff in it. Um, then you got Bluetooth music player. So if you have any music on your phone, you can play it directly from here as well. Okay, then you can use this as a Bluetooth camera in that this will activate the camera on your phone. You point your camera on the phone where you want it and you touch the button here and it'll take a picture. That's the Bluetooth icon that brings up um, the list of Bluetooth devices in your area. And you want your phone to be in the Bluetooth mode so you'll see it from the watch. And then you pair it. And that pairs your phone calling and your Siri or your Google uh, capabilities from there. There's a file manager here that shows you what's in the watch. I don't know why because I don't know how you could put files here. Um, that's very interesting. Um, I don't, 
I don't know. I tried hooking it to my computer and I couldn't, you know, like get it to lock in as a hard drive to, to move music or something here. And there's no local music player, only Bluetooth player. So not sure why a file manager is there. If any of you guys figure it out, put it in the comments, okay? And we can talk about it, get educated about it. Your basic pedometer is right here. The step count, calories burned and distance traveled. Uh, is in here and it looks like it's in meters right there and if you get enough of them i guess it'll go into miles kilometers whatever um last night's sleep monitor sedentary reminder your basic heart rate that uh picks up right there we saw we've got a heart rate monitor built into the uh, fitness activities as well you saw the blood pressure one we've got that this one is heart rate there. Not going to spend a lot of time with it. Siri, though, is uh, really nice because this ties to your phone when you're tethered through the app, I believe. No, just to your phone. Uh, you, you can do all the things you do with the Google trigger or with Siri trigger. And here the uh, outcomes come through the speaker on the watch. So really nice if you got your phone in your pocket and you want to do the, the Siri kind of thing. Uh, App download is the QR code that you would scan to download this app. Again, we have it in the show notes for you. Uh, a stopwatch, a calculator is built into it, and uh, themes, um, three different themes, which are just the basic background. You see how it changed to some dots back there? Um, you've got that, and you've got a kind of a solid blue background. Uh, not really much of anything, but they've got it in there. The top one is just plain black. And now we're kind of back to settings, which is where we started the loop of all of these, right? So that's the app drawer. Now I'm going to play with Siri for you here, but it's not really Siri. And we get it started. Play audio news. Now over here on the phone. It's playing the news. And can you hear it in here? Here are your top stories brought to you by Fidelity Wealth Management. The Supreme Court says no one, not even I don't even know where the, the microphone is on the on the camera. I'm moving it around. says it won't revise its guidelines on reopening schools. Okay, it's the current news playing on here. I can pause it. Uh, do anything you know right from here and uh it, it'll um yeah definitely pull up play podcasts or answer your questions or do whatever with the equivalent of the siri thing so let's take a look at the app overall then the app is really basic not much to it because the band doesn't do a whole lot you basically got your step count in here and it'll show you a little bit of a bar chart on when you've done those steps. I haven't done much, so not much to show. Last night's sleep time, again, you go in here and you'd get total, light, deep, and average sleep time. And again, a little bit of bar chart, month and, uh, and day and stuff. Uh, GPS running. If you have a GPS set up, I believe if you do this, you'll, you'll do a running app using the gps in your phone and so basically you're using an app in your phone to do all of your uh tracking and whatnot um the the stuff that's done on the band itself of course doesn't use gps because it's not built into this watch uh, so this would be your gps running from the app and then you've got your heart rate information recent measurements um measurement time and measurement time these are all the different i guess recent ones and then you'll see your chart on here uh, as far as heart rate goes that's it nothing on uh, blood pressure is tracked in this but the heart rate your fitness sleep and step count devices here you have your message uh, push that you can set up what apps you want to push measure uh, information to the watch uh, recumbent reminder that's your sedentary reminder heart rate detection and it's fallen out of binding I do have a little difficulty keeping it uh, Bluetooth bound um, which is frustrating so I'm not going to go into that otherwise it'd be a switch that you can turn it into um, you know continuous heart rate alarm settings 
find your bracelet. We played that before. And then under my, you have your personal information that you can set up all of your basic stuff and choose whether you want Google or Gouder for a map, which is interesting. Not sure where Gouder works, but we all are familiar with the Google map. Uh, your target setting is for your step count and your sleep target. You saw it was connected and now it fell out again. And then overall about funware. Uh, this is the version number. And that's it. It's a work in progress, this app. It's not really sophisticated like some of them that we've seen. But with, uh, with the information, when it tethers, you can track what you've got on the watch. Why would you get this one? Uh, not, not for any of that stuff, definitely. There's much better ones and much better apps. However, this one is one of the few that has uh, built-in Bluetooth calling, the Siri kind of connection button so that you can interrogate your watch and get it to play music through your watch if you want to, streaming Spotify, for example, um, or, or anything like you saw me playing the news right through the watch. So that's a nice feature for it. You can change the watch bands here and there's a pretty good selection of them you got some digital ones some analog ones i don't know if you can hear the birds they're going crazy outside right now that's kind of cool uh-huh yeah and back here again so 24 12 hour time um the bluetooth symbol showing you that you are connected uh and it's all there all right once again it's called the G20, from, a Bakey G20 from Banggood. It's available now. Uh, check the show notes for the buying link uh, price, um, and we'll try to get you a coupon for it. All in all, it's a basic watch, does basic stuff with a basic app. If you're not so much into the real nuances of a smartwatch, but you're interested in having a watch that looks attractive and does Bluetooth calling, as well as Siri or the Google interrogation uh, when you have your phone nearby, this is a good one. The uh, phone calling and the Google pair directly to uh, your watch just like a headset would, uh, so it's independent and different than the tethering we're having with the app. And as you saw, the tethering with the app isn't that strong. It sometimes connects and then disconnects, so they need to work on that. But all in all, there you go. You got your options on this one, and it's here. Okay. Thanks for watching again, gang, and we'll see you again soon.